Hey everyone, it's Ashley here from Ascension NXT, and I already pulled some cards, so I don't know. I just someday I, I'm just gonna do this different all the time. I don't really care. All right, um, uh, all right. What are we doing here? Like, what's the topic? So I kept getting manic, like manic bipolar energy. Obviously, there's a lot of that going on on the planet collectively. We're all feeling crazy. We're all feeling nuts. We're feeling like our emotions are all over the place. Some of us can't sleep. Some of us are hostile. Some of us are sad. Some of us are grieving. All of this is just the reality of shit right now. <coughs> I feel like to try to suppress any of that is just not gonna do you any good. Um, people are triggering the fuck out of people everywhere. I'm I, like seeing it all over social media. My clients are telling me, people are telling me I'm triggering them. I can feel people getting mad by me triggering them. Um, you know, and one of the things that I learned in the last few weeks when this whole thing happened is I kind of like, like got like crippled by the energy. And then I watered myself down a little bit and I was kind of like, yeah, I'm not doing this anymore. Um, because every time I do that, it becomes toxicity in my system. I have to be that igniter. I have to be that energy that is on fire. I'm not going to be like that all the time, but when I'm too... I don't want to say nurturing because I, I guess, I don't know, when I'm too nurturing and, and too nice all the time, it's not like there's nothing wrong with being nice. But like watered down would be the best way to say it is like I hold back a little bit and I don't want to hold back anymore. I want to be me. I want to be who I really am. I want to say the things that are on my mind, you know? And, and the more that I hold that in, the more it affects my mood. It, it's just, it's not a fun time, you know? We have to be very open. We have to be very authentic. And it's funny because of these cards that I pulled today. So we're, we're tapping into the manic energy of the planet, the craziness going on on the planet and like how to deal with that. And then we're also tapping into the manifesting energy, the energy of the manifester. And and for the energy of a manic, I pulled some tarot cards because tarot is more connected with the earth. And then I'm using these Kyle Gray Keepers of the Light deck because this is all Ascended Master energy. And they are the teachers that are on the other side to always help us through whatever is going on on the planet. Some of the Ascended Masters I'm very familiar with, some of them I'm not. So I pulled one who I'm very familiar with and one who I'm not. And I started reading about the one in the book and I was like, oh, of course, this is crazy because I was lit literally writing about this in one of my posts today. Um, but that's how it works, right? So for the manifesting aspect, I pulled some galactic cards. So we're gonna use these Lumerian Star Child Oracle and I may uh, even read into some of those. Maybe I won't, maybe I'll just channel all of it. Um, all right, let's go into the manic aspect of what's going on on the planet and how to deal with it. So the first card that we have is the Empress, upside down. Holy moly, it's like our whole world's flipped upside down in like less than two weeks, you know? It's funny because I'm in America and Americans always have this attitude of like, oh, that shit's not gonna happen here, and it did. So this country is a mess right now. People are going nuts. People are insane, rightfully so. Like I've said, millions of times, if you're not feeling anything from this shit, you might be a fucking sociopath, or maybe you're just really good at dealing with the chaos. Either of those two. Anyways, um, <clears throat> the Empress to me is the Mother Earth energy in the tarot. She is the growth, the abundance, the earth energy, like she literally represents the abundance of life, the abundance outside, the nature aspect of humanity, and the feminine aspect that helps everything move and grow and flow and create in this beautiful form. And then all of a sudden, boom, it's like everything just kind of like shit the bed, like shit the bed. It's almost like the Empress turned off. She's like, fuck this shit, I'm out of here. But she's not really. So like, this is what I'm getting when I'm tapping in this card. So like the first thing I think about is money. So like money is like a huge concern right now. Like what's gonna happen with our economy? What's gonna happen with the American dollar? What's gonna happen with all of that? Um, 
I didn't really dig into that when I looked at these cards, but one of the things that I keep getting is that abundance will always be there in all forms, regardless of what happens in this reality. We are humans that have abilities that we haven't fully tapped into yet. So there is ways to create abundance and wealth in your life that may not be typically how you bring it in. Typically, I would say most people in this world collect a paycheck or they work for somebody else. And this right now, this card to me is telling you to think and feel into more of the creative ways that you can have access to wealth and abundance in your life. The wealth and abundance is changing. It's not it's not going to be the same on this planet as it was. We already know that. Like a lot of us have been channeling into that, that the money and the monetary system is going to change, but it's not going to go away. So it doesn't mean that, yay, everything's going to be free, you know? And I also don't believe in the fact that, oh, we're going into a great depression and we're going to be like cannibals soon and eating each other. Like worst case scenario, I feel like that's what some people are thinking. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe that's like crossed my mind a few times. Like, well, that's the worst case scenario, right? Um, but anyways, yeah. So I feel like we will find ways. We will find ways to sustain and to live abundant life lifestyle. But right now, it doesn't seem like that. It's like, oh my God, especially a lot of people that are so used to co like working for someone else and collecting a paycheck. So the other thing that's coming in with the Empress is like, the flow like she is the flow in your creation process and a lot of us had that flow of um you know consistency and routine and everything was the same every day and that flipped upside down right like everyone's routines all fucked up like nobody knows what to do a lot of people don't know how to do things for themselves well guess what this energy right now is saying that you gotta learn how to become a little bit more disciplined day by day, step by step, and learn how to create that flow in your life without somebody telling you what to do at that moment. Like if you lost that person telling you what to do, like a boss or whoever is in charge, you need to create that for yourself in, in this time right now. Like it's very important for people to have something to look forward Forward to or to create some kind of regimen and it doesn't need to be something super strict it's just something to keep you in line and to keep you healthy mentally emotionally and physically right because a lot of us can't go to the gym right now like that's the big thing with me is like I can't go to the gym I can't use the machines so I have to have, find other ways to work out and it's it's kind of annoying you know it's not like yay this is so much fun like no I like to go to the gym because I like to get out of my house because I'll, once I drive there I'll actually like stay there and work out a lot of people don't work out at home because then they're like oh well I'm I gotta go cook something right now or they're like oh I forgot to put the laundry in let me go do that so we're learning right now how to create a little bit more discipline in our lives all right what's the next thing that we're going to talk about the strength card upside down of course we got the fucking strength card upside down right of course we did the strength card upside down so to me when I was looking at this I was like oh well, look at her. Look at her eyes. I don't know if we can focus in on that. All right. I don't know if you can see her eyes, but she's looking back. She's looking back. And that was the first thing I was saw. I was like, of course, this is what this is. This is people looking back. And what it's doing is it's draining their strength. So I'm going to tell you right now, the number one cause of anxiety is looking into the past too much and into the future too much. Right now, we really need to keep our eyes on the present and what we need to work with in the present moment day by day. Setting goals is great, but also getting too far ahead of yourself in this time is gonna drive you crazy because you're not going to know where you're going to end up. You know, a lot of us don't know where we're gonna end up in the next few months. Some of us do, some of us don't. Um, things uh, right now, everything is uncertain. So we have to learn to build resiliency during this time. Because it's not just going to like end and then everything's going to be mandy dandy pamby. 
You know, I really don't believe that. I think a lot is gonna change. A lot of people are gonna lose their jobs. A lot of people are gonna lose their businesses. Um, things in the economy can get better, but a lot of people are gonna have to shift in the process. You know, not everyone, it's not gonna be easy for us all. So we need to figure out ways of shifting and creating, but within that, we need to hold our strength and our confidence. And like, in the back of this, I was like, what is that? Cause I never saw, like in the back, it looks like hands praying. That was the first thing I thought. And I was like, ask God for strength. Ask the divine for strength. Ask that energy to give you some of it. You know, sometimes we forget that. We're like, oh, um, I don't know what to do and I'm falling apart and I'm a mess. You know, that's the energy we're tapping into is the manic energy. Ask God for strength. Ask the divine. You know, like it can help, like have a little bit of faith, okay? And I know I've been saying that, but we need to continue with that process. All right. Nine of Swords upside down. Hmm. To me, automatically when I look at this card or I feel into this card, it's like everything at home upside down. Like a lot of us are having issues within our home because we're feeling everyone's energy. Everyone's energy can be like sluggish or crazy or um, it's like too much mixing of energies that just won't go away. Like when somebody leaves the house, like I notice when my fiance leaves the house, it feels so different. It's like, ah, oh, I'm alone, you know? And like normally a lot of us have that, now we don't. And like to me, the swords are like, it's like all of that energy constantly there all the time. So saging, drumming, anything that you can do to keep the energy moving and flowing is going to help with this in you. No, maybe if you're like in charge of the house, you kick people out and you'd be like, go for a walk so I can have some alone time, you know? Um, there are different ways that we can work around this energy, but I really feel like this energy is like definitely the catalyst of the manic energy. It's sitting at home and like feeling into everyone's stuff and or just feeling into all of our own stuff constantly. Like now it's time to pay attention to all the shit that I ignored for years, all the shit that I suppressed for years. Like now it's all coming up. It's all coming up, it's all surfacing, and now we have to really look at these things and be like, ow, oh, it's you again. You know what I mean? So don't suppress that. Don't suppress these things. Like, look into them, connect with them, heal them, work through them. Do what you need to do in this process to make your life better at this moment. All right, so we pulled, let me take a sip of water before I get into this. All right, we pulled the Lord Shiva card. Transcendence is the word on it. Rise up, honor your inner four steps are being given, dance with the universe. So you can see the snake on his shoulder. Lord Shiva is the, I think he's the, hang on. I want the proper term for it. This is one that I don't work with that much. So let's just connect with this. Where is it? Come on. <clears throat> Shiva is one of India's trinity of male god figures. He is depicted wearing a cobra around his neck, representing his capacity to tame fear or the ego. So like that is, there's so much fear. There's so much ego right now. Um, there's so much on the in the collective right now that is just extremely toxic. And a lot of us don't know what to do. Well, some of us are trying everything and it doesn't seem like it's getting any better. Some people are saying that it's working for a little while. Then some people are like, it's fine. And then, you know, so everyone has these different stories as to how they're dealing with this energy. It also depends on who you're surrounded by. And it couldn't, it may not even have to do with your house. It could be the land, the energy of the land that you're feeling. It could be your neighbors that you're feeling you know it could be the town's energy that you're feeling like you could be feeling into like a lot of different people's shit right now anyways um surrounded by stars showing his connection to the cosmos and holding a trident 
acknowledging the three aspects of divine masculine power in India. So this is funny because if you follow my posts or you're on my email list, which you should sign up for, um, he's the creator, preserver, and destroyer. I literally said that in my post today, that I'm the creator and destroyer. Anyways, um, he is known as the destroyer because of his warrior-like energy and ability to destroy fear. He is a facet of the divine father energy and offers paternal protection, support, and guidance. He is also acknowledged as the cosmic dancer because he helps coordinate the interaction between earth and the cosmos. He has the capacity to help us move beyond the fear of failure and into clarity and connection. So maybe it's connecting to Lord Shiva at this time. And if you don't feel connected to Lord Shiva at this time, I definitely say connect to the divine masculine, connect to the energy of God and ask God to bring in that energy of clarity and connection because that is what we all need right now. And the more of us that do that, the more that energy will begin to anchor in. Because one of the things that I channeled into when I was, holding this card before the video was that the most of the collective needs to be on somewhat of the same page as far as moving forward in order for this energy to kind of dissipate in order for this energy to kind of just move off of the planet so where it's not so toxic so it needs to be the fact that all of us are focusing on moving forward, or I would say like 80, 90% of the planet is focusing on moving forward instead of looking in the past. And that has a lot to do with our thought process right now. So maybe if you're seeing a lot of people and my nose and my face is itching, so I know this is an important message. If you see a lot of people constantly focusing on the past, maybe try to motivate people to keep moving forward, to keep looking forward, to keep seeing into that future, but also staying in the present moment as well is very important right now. Um, Lord Shiva is with you right now to awaken your sense of connection to life itself. You are moving through a deep transition and things will be clearer from this point. You will know exactly what you need to do and where you need to be. This is a powerful time as you will transcend the limitations that others have set for you. Is it, This is a powerful time. You will transcend the limitations that others have set for you. All right, so like this was another thing that I was tapping into energetically is that like for me, it was like all spiritual healers need to be X, Y, Z. And honestly, I'm so sick of that. I'm so sick of like everyone expecting spiritual healers to just be these like la-di-da type people or they're like into super dark stuff. Like I really am like the in-between. I carry the energy of the spiritual teacher and I carry the fire of the coach that will trigger you and like, why do I have to hold myself to other people's expectations about who I am? I don't. And that's why I've been being really raw and being really unapologetically truthful and all of that stuff because I don't want people that don't like what me and like constantly judging me or making me feel like I have to calm down in order to make them feel more comfortable. That's not who I am, you know? Um, and, and I always do things with the highest intentions for the fact that like when I'm be being a hard ass, it's because I believe in you. I believe in your ability to change. And a lot of people don't believe in their ability to change. They don't even believe in themselves. And sometimes when you have people that are in that state, it's almost like triggering them will help them move out of it. Some of them will move away and they'll be like, fuck you, I don't wanna hear your shit, you know? But a lot of people that have helped me get to where I am have triggered me. It's always been the triggers and the lessons or even the coaches that trigger me. You know, I had a coach the other day trigger the fuck out of me. And then I signed up for a program two weeks later. I was like, okay, well, I need to work with her now. You know, um, it's like, stop taking things so personally. I know I've been saying this and do what you feel is best for you and express how you want to express. You know, you might piss someone like me off. You know, you might be in that mode of like being overly emotional and like, wanting to cry online that's you need to do that shit you know what i mean it doesn't matter what anyone else thinks that's you so you need to be in that space you know um it doesn't necessarily mean i'd be pissed off like that i get pissed off by people who just constantly stay in that state and i know that they don't need to stay in that fucking state they can do better um 
It is a time of innovation, ideas, stargazing, soul traveling, and soul re re revealing. Shiva, the Lord of Dance, is here with his sacred sound of Om to lead the way. All right. The next Ascendant Master that we have, and maybe we'll receive some more messages from Shiva, is Freya. So we have the Norse god Freya here. There is a beginning with every ending. And then I actually pulled the death card. Look at that. So knowing through this whole ending, through this craziness, you know, when someone dies, people go crazy. They lose their minds. They leave this reality. All they think about is that person leaving them. Grief. They're in a state of grief. Like, they can't let go. They don't want to let go. That's what we're all dealing with right here. Is like, we don't want to let go of the old earth. We don't want to let go of the old ways when I, we actually do. Because of looking at it, like, look at it in a way what like, that earth was, like, dying of cancer. And we, need to, we needed to set our soul free. Like, we needed to allow her to heal and rebirth herself like make herself into something better something that is better for her that will in a sense be better for us you know so sometimes you have to set that energy free in order to rebuild something that is for the highest good so Freya is a Norse goddess and she's connected to magic where I've worked with her a lot and let's see what she is connecting me with with this card because I didn't fully channel into this So, like, the first thing she's showing me is the way that the Vikings lived and, you know, their lifestyle was extremely hard. Um, they lived like heathens, you know? They lived like, they lived in very cold weather. A lot of weather in Scandinavia was extremely cold. They lived through rough winters. Um, they were raiders. They were always in battle. They felt that they needed to leave their mark on the world. And... <clears throat> through those times and in that time, like, I feel like they would be, like, laughing at us right now. Like, you guys need to sit in your house right now and you'll be okay. You know, like, that's the energy that I'm getting from there is, like, we've been through way worse. So, like, it's almost like connecting with your ancestors' energy at this point. And, like, they've, some of them had it really rough, you know, and I'm not saying that uh, some people are not having it rough now because a lot of people are going through a lot of shit. But for a lot of us just sitting in our house and we're not on the front lines of this thing and we're safe at home, just think about it. if you're safe at home, you're not on the front lines, you don't have anyone directly involved in this, you're fine. You know what I mean? You are fine. And yeah, you may be battling some stuff mentally. You're probably not happy with your situation, but you have the ability to make the best out of it. And through this time where someone is dying or someone is passing away it's like just be respectful at the moment you know be respectful and have that moment where you kind of just need to submit to the things that you may not want to do right now you know so if like your whole family is in a grieving moment at the moment you're not gonna like have like a big old party with your friends at the house you know you need to kind of just be respectful and do your part in it whatever your part is in this process do it you know if it's showing up more do it if it's creating more do it if it's making music do it if it's making people laugh do it you know, whatever that is, it's going to be different for all of us. You know, a lot of you aren't going to show up in ways that I would show up. I'm not going to show up in ways that you would show up. But taking our part in this and knowing also, too, it says it's phases and cycles on the card. Like, this is a phase that we're going through. It's a really harsh phase. It's going to change a lot of things on the planet. We're coming into a new time. It feels like a bunch of craziness at the moment. But I feel like when we look back at this, a lot of us are going to be proud of ourselves. A lot of us are going to be... Um, happy with ourselves. A lot of us are going to see a lot of truths in people that, you know, maybe we, we, we would have never saw if this whole thing didn't happen. So there are a lot of positives within that moment. 
So it's almost like the the happy part of the bipolar energy. So you can have that like irritable, angry, sad, or whatever it is. I feel like more of it's irritable and angry. Um, it's more of like that higher feeling, that higher feeling in the darkness. So we have the death card. You know, we have Freya, the Norse goddess. A lot of her energy is dark too, you know? She's not like an energy that you would call in to bring in like, a lot of 5D light, I mean, she can bring in a lot of like loving energy, but it's not like the energy of like Melchizedek who's like in that 12th dimension. The Norse gods are more connected to that primal energy on this earth. They do carry a very galactic energy, but they're also connected to that primal energy on earth and primal energy on earth right now, there's a lot of death, you know? And I feel like she's saying like, you know, a lot of you like forget about death all the time. Like you just think it's not gonna affect you or um, that won't happen to me. And like a lot of us are learning like, oh shit, this can happen to me. But the good part of that is like, a lot of us are gonna change the way we lives our li live our lives. A, because we're gonna wanna live healthier and B, because death can be tomorrow. Life is not certain, but death is. So why waste your time when you're here? Do the things that you wanna do, do the things that you love. Do the things that will make you feel good, you know? So that's what I'm getting from that is through all this manic and crazy energy there. And, and through that, there is a lot of life. There is a lot of shift. There is a lot of change. All right. Let's tap in to the manifestor energy right now. So we have the Lumerian Star Child Oracle for those. Um... <clears throat> All right, let's see. Multidimensional is the first card that we get. So I'm gonna tap into the energy of this. Hang on. Multi multiple dimensions, timelines, be you. Don't even try to fit in. <laughs> okay, so like that was, that's what I'm talking about, man. Being more fucking you. Being authentic, you know? You can't be authentic when you're triggered by everything all the time and you're sad all the time and you're in victim mode all the time. You can't authentically be you. That, those moments will bring out you because you'll be purging shit that doesn't belong in you. But when you're just in those moments of like, woe is me constantly, <clears throat> that's not an authentic energy, you know? That's not energy from the divine. That's energy from the ego. That's energy from, it's like suppression. It's like wanting to stay in that. Like you don't wanna move forward. You don't wanna hear the truths. You wanna, you wanna suppress. You wanna stay in that mode. In order to manifest, I feel like you gotta connect, we gotta start connecting more with the quantum energy. That's something that I definitely need to start talking about more. It's something I need to learn about more in depth uh, cause I'm feeling a lot of quantum energy in this card. Connecting with the different parts of you, like parts of yourself that can help you bring forth this energy. There's a cat in here, there's a lot of animals. Um, all right, let me hold this to my heart. Okay, you can't manifest by being like one dimensional. Like that's just, that's just the one way that I'm gonna do that and I'm gonna create that. Now, because everything's so uncertain, it's almost like, well, if this happens, I'm gonna do this. If this happens, I'm gonna do this. So it's having like a few different plans is what I'm feeling here. It's like having a few different options. Now, normally I would say, you know, be a little careful with that because it's like, you don't want to give too many options because you don't want too many other plans for the fact that when you're manifesting, you want to stick to the main thing that you want. So find the main thing that you want and maybe manifesting like the different ways, you know, like it's like being flexible with how you're manifesting and how you're bringing things into your reality. It's trying not to, because then if you try to do it one way and it doesn't work out and you keep trying to do that, then you're going to be kind of pissed off when things don't work out. And then it's almost like you're going to give up, you know? So 
I mean, here's another thing that connects with authenticity. Like, I can't even yell it out anymore. Uh, un unique expression, flow of creation, joyfulness. <clears throat> and then we have joy to, oh no, we have love here. If you're not very, if you're not a very creative person right now, you may really want to begin to tap into that energy because that is how you are going to bring the things that you want into your life. If you're so used to following rules and being that one person that's like, I'm not creative, that's an old story. That's a story that you keep telling yourself. That needs to be an old story and you need to create the new story that I am creative because I can do X, Y, Z. I don't care if you're great at organizing bookshelves. That is something that is creative. Anything that Anything and everything is pretty much creative. Me making videos is creative. Me making candles is creative. Writing is creative. Thinking of new ideas, like any new ideas, like building something, like there's all different ways to be creative. And I always used to laugh when creativity would come up in readings like one-on-one -on -one with people and they'd be like, I'm not creative. And I'm like, that's bullshit. Everyone is, everyone has something that they are good at, a way that they can create or solve problems that other people can't. So if you're like telling yourself the story, I'm not creative, or if you're, all, if you're like, well, I'm only creative in this way, then you need to start shifting that. You need to start opening up to different possibilities and different ways that you're creative. So like right now, like, you know, I used to write music. Like I would write albums, you know, with storylines and all of that. Like I forgot about all that shit. Like that was shit that like I was like, you know, that was in the past. I won't do that anymore. Like now I'm like, I was sitting behind my computer messing around with GarageBand for my podcast. And I'm like, I need to start like telling stories on my podcast. Like I need to start like rapping on my podcast. You know, it's like doing different things that maybe you forgot about, you know, maybe you haven't done in a while. And you're like, oh shit, I forgot about that one thing that I used to be really good at because I got too busy doing this other thing. You know, I'm too busy with running a business like that to me was like, oh, I don't have time for that. Well, now I do. So there's a lot of excuses around creation and how people, people, a lot of people want things just given to them. A lot of people want things just handed to them. A lot of people want people to tell them what to do. Um, I'm going to tell you right now, if you're the type of person that likes being told what to do, the way that the planet is forming and shifting is you're going to be stuck in like 1984 with like all of those people. You know, I'm not saying all of us are going to be there, but like you're going to be in a position where you're going to be controlled. It's not just going to be someone telling you what to do. You're going to be controlled by something. A lot of what keeps coming up and has been coming up for months is like cults. Like a lot of cults are going to be forming because people are in a very vulnerable place. So if you want to be told what to do, you can get yourself stuck in like some weird situation like that. Like you want to be very aware of who you are and what you create and being able to sustain on your own and standing in your authentic power regardless of what fuck faces around you think. All right. <clears throat> Let's go into the next card. Depths of love. Let go of fear to jump into love. Let go beyond attachments. I feel like I'm gonna read into this card. I need a better light in here. I got one of those like round light things. All right. So my assistant was telling me, she's like, do you have a ring light? And I was like, no. And she was like, you should get one. <laughs> I was like, thanks. <laughs> All right. All right. Um, where is this on here? So. I don't understand. These cards are kind of difficult to like find the... Okay, 253. 
Okay. I feel a firework of joyful recognition. The pure light in me springs from forth, embracing the pure light in you. Let us dance together with the whole of creation. So this is the card. In the depths of awakening lies a liberated paradigm of love deeper than mental grasping and emotional clinging and unaffected by betrayal or neglect. Fear melts away in the arms of the divine feminine, intimately present in the depths of love. This card invites you to go back to the mind's perception of love to embrace universal love. All right, I already know what that's saying. So to me, the first thing that I felt is like almost like being betrayed by everything that's happening right now. It's like almost like I feel like a lot of people are like, well, I'm not going to do anything because I'm just really upset or um, I keep seeing people with their arms crossed like this, like they're being very stubborn, like a lot of stubborn energy. It's like not wanting to learn anything new, um, not wanting to come to the fact that things are changing. So for us that are awakened and for us that are understanding this message and and for us to manifest the reality that we desire it's almost like you need to be there in order to motivate and help others understand like hey you know you don't have to be upset or angry about what happened it's like looking at it from a different perspective and i have seen that a lot where people are trying to shift and change perspectives and people are actually getting very mad and angry they want to hang out they want to hang on to that feeling of betrayal people feel very betrayed by right now they don't know by what they just feel betrayed they feel betrayed by themselves maybe that um they can't believe that they're in this situation like living paycheck i'm just giving an example giving paycheck, living paycheck to paycheck, and now they're stuck in this situation, or maybe they feel betrayed by their governments, or maybe they feel betrayed by the planet, or maybe they feel betrayed by humanity. I mean, the list can go on and on from betrayal. But the only way in order, the only way to really create the outcome that we all desire is by letting go of all of that, which is easier said than done. You know, we're working through it at the moment and really manifesting through the depths of that love, through the love and joy, the joy that we want to create. And a lot of us aren't feeling a lot of joy right now. We're feeling a lot of lower vibrational, heavy energy. And that's because there's a lot lifting from the planet at the moment. All right, I feel like I'm done for today. So next week, I will be live on this, uh, I was gonna say Facebook, but YouTube page, uh, doing the ABC reading. And honestly, I don't know if I'm gonna do it live. I think I might be doing the ABCs pre-recorded from now on. So we'll see what is gonna happen with those. I'm feeling more pre-recorded just because the energy is so intense right now that for me to do live readings is just too much. So I'd rather pre-record them so I don't have everyone's energy coming at me. Just for now, I don't think that'll be a forever thing. Um, but yeah, so I'm also booking a lot more one-on-one -on -one coaching sessions right now. I know that a lot of people need some help getting organized, getting structured, maybe staying motivated, or maybe just clearing some toxic energy around them. So I will put a link for my coaching on the bottom. If you have any questions or anything, please email me. I hope that you're all staying safe. I hope that you are all, um, you know, staying safe and trying to stay as positive as you can within this moment. All right, I'll see y'all soon. Thank you all for joining in and bless be.